Hello everyone, this is Pravin. You are watching Pravin Sompali YouTube channel. Uh, today, let's discuss a new topic called AI by CA, which is an artificial intelligence tool developed for chartered accountants. See, if you are a professional looking for the most accurate AI tool for GST, tax, and finance queries, you have probably tried ChatGPT, Google Gemini, and Cloud. But which one truly really delivers the best answers? In this video, we are putting down all to the test against AI by CA and AI designed specifically for chartered accountants, GST professionals and tax consultants. Let's see which AI give the most accurate, up to date and uh, useful responses. Stay till the end because the results might surprise you. Let's deep dive into the video. First go to Google and type www.aibyca.com so it will show a landing page welcome to sompali and co and uh, it's a beautiful landing landing page where you can get all the details once if you got into this web application press start now it's free and uh, yeah See, since I have already registered, I no need to log in again. In case if you are not yet registered, please go. I recommend it to register it first. Okay. So here, sign in if you want to sign in. I already signed in. So I am just using to log in with my login credentials. And this is the password. Yeah. So once if you are logged in, the landing page would show like this so totally we do have a ai tools on conversation file chart english rewriter gst bot income tax bot independent audit report generator gst act and gst rules let's discuss on each and every topic detail first i'll go with the uh, conversation conversation is nothing but it's general conversation between uh, you and chartered accountant queries like if you want to act uh, discuss anything uh, about what is a uh, what is in a uh, professional misconduct and what is the schedules of professional misconduct anything you can discuss it here but uh, which today let's discuss more on gst bot okay So now I'm opening a uh, chat GPT as well as cloudy as well as uh, uh, Google Gemini. Let's discuss, uh, let's compare this uh, uh, testing with the uh, other AI tools, how the answers is giving more accurate. So first go to chat GPT. So I already subscribed to chat GPT and go to cloudy. Uh, cloudy also I have subscription and next one is Google Gemini. Okay, my first question is, uh, analyze uh, the legal consequences of an expired e-way bill during the goods transportation session. I'm just asking my first question what is the uh, legal consequences in case of expired available in case of giving uh, goods transportation due to uh, due to traffic or vehicle breakdown can authorities impose penalties so I just asked one question so it press generate here and giving the same question press enter and giving the same question in cloudy press enter and giving the same question in uh, google germany press enter let's see now which one is uh, uh, given good answer first we'll check the chart gpt so when goods transport across india the e way bill are critical requirement under gst regime it is intended to ensure that goods being transported comply with gst law help in tracking movement however if the e way bills expire typically after the validated distance being transported there could be a legal consequences uh, uh, the legal consequences what is a penalty detention release of goods legal disputes if it is a crucial for business okay it, it is a, it is given a general information about uh, in case of goods uh, uh, being a detention during the in case e way will not available let's verify in uh, how it was given in uh, uh, 
um, cloudy. Let me analyze the legal consequences if I will. So, so for transportation, if any way will regarding penalties, mitigation steps, legal defenses, best practices to avoid. So it's given a general answer. What about Google Gemini? Uh, Google Gemini is given some more accurate information about monetary fine and reasons for penalties and key points importance of tax extension blah 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 so let's see my ai tool how it is referred see the legal consequences of transporting e bills on gst carry the business implication the e bill is essential for com uh, compliance document and mandated by gst law and whatever the it is given introduction and also it is explained by e bill what is an e bill e bill is a document is generated in case it to be generated more than 50000 and uh, what is the section is dealing section 68 is dealing about a uh, e bill and what are the rules that framed in the gst act that are also provided and what are the sections in case if it is non-compliance is also given and detail analysis in case of situation where you have the authorities have imposed penalties under section 129 vehicle permit due to heavy traffic they will express in transit transporter must update the validity bill the transporter must procure the valid reasons even to sustain the cost of the delay and concerned officer so how case laws also provided kp southern west state of karnataka here the facts in case you will due to technical issues and during transport a high court observation the karnataka high court uh, there is no intention to have the tax to impose penalty see you no need to search for case laws and it's beautifully given about what is its introduction and uh, what is the case uh, section what are the sections and rules are applicable and what is the detail analysis in the case and what are the applicable case laws for karnataka high court as well as kerala high court and what is the impact of the business and what is the conclusion so uh, i think uh, this uh, ai by ci has given more information and compared to other three ai tools okay let's ask now now let us discuss about um, itc related issues okay um, so i'm asking that evaluate whether itc tc can be claimed uh, on expenses incurred for employees such as health insurance free food and transportation facilities what is the itc yeah i think this is enough okay so i'm just copying paste control a generate and give this and give this and give this so first go to chart gpt and verify that uh, itc in case in india business allowed to reduce the taxes oh, okay it's given introduction health insurance how the health insurance can claim an itc free food transportation practices so it's already given the applicable section it says since free food can plus on person itc it is allowed so it's saying that itc has been disallowed exceptions there may, might be exceptions in case if it is a contractual obligation mandated by okay it's telling about law about what is applicability and what is the best practices need to be follow and in case if you went to cloudy cloudy see cloudy is useful for coding i believe but uh, for itc cases and this type of cases i think uh, it's not giving a more accurate answers so health insurance and food and the normal they have given about the key framework and recommendations maintain the clear instructions just go to google germany no itc were not available for employee welfare expenses health insurance and free food exemptions mandatory requirement key consideration that's all so let's go to i have a see uh, so itc is a crucial aspect in gst allowing on business to claim a credit for gst paid on input goods and services so relevant section so one section is section 17 sub class 5 and another section is section 16 sub class uh, eligibility and rule 43 is applicable on that and uh, what are the health insurance so health insurance saying employee generally falls, on, uh, falls under blocked credit uh, category unless it is uh, have such expenditure blocked and itc it is obligated by law case law tesco bangalore with uh, karnataka advance the company is out to claim health insurance provided and the authority of advance is itc is not available since the providing to health insurance is not obligated under any state see 
it's clearly stating that we are giving an advance rulings applicable advance rulings as well as high court high court, as well as supreme court judgments in case if it is available so all the case laws available case laws we are listing it out here and free food uh, free subsidy fruit blocked credit and see is first is that it is it's explaining whether it is allowed or not express section then after it is it is uh, it is explaining the case law also the company provided a canteen services to employees of the the high court of the kerala ruled against the company claim to itc of the fraud and expenditure of million dollars in output tax can, cannot claim an itc benefit so kerala high court has given that judgment transportation uh, so, so many software uh, companies are claiming this itc described the blocking of it because uh, it is mandated by law in case it is exceed by uh, time limits if the employees is transferring or uh, transporting in different places uh one is case law is this phone and drone and ctc and the ruling as it is ineligible mandated for employee by legal state come whether it was settled under the providing transportation conclusion so it's a given conclusion analysis and business implication tax planning and by careful relevant status and company allowed to the legal mandates and this one okay so when compared to this three i given the i think uh, this one is given more uh, appropriate uh, answer uh, wha- where we should look out and what need to be search in this activities uh, and in case if you want to get, if you have any related uh, gst related queries totally you can ask in gst bot and when compared to income tax bot let's test that uh, what is the section 43b so ask this and ask this and ask this okay so section 43b says expenditure where it is allowable deductions when it has actually paid and it is accounted for cash basis that then accrual applicable section section 43b nature of expenses uh, cash basis requirements key expenses covered analysis case loss validated ensuring the conclusion okay so it is also given from okay so it's list out all the expenditure also so conversion of loans and this also given some expenditure and this is also given so this is a general one the, the google gemini is typically taking some uh, google articles so it's providing but uh, chat gpt and uh, cloudy as providing a unique information about what is the act and what is this uh, information and let's discuss about uh, Uh, so we can ask many questions like this in income tax bot uh, and income tax case laws suppose uh, uh, you can given like a case laws on uh, uh, section 269 yes yes <laughs> So section two sixty nine explain the sections and provisions. Twenty thousand cannot be ex- accept. And notable case laws is uh, several cooperation with CIT Commission appeals. Background in this case, line income tax department penalty of a accepting cash exceeding prescribed under two sixty nine. In case if you are a student, also it is very useful for you while preparing for your uh, CA final or CA IPC CA inter. And for professionals, it it's going to. it's going to save lot of time for you and uh, there's there are many cases that they are published here and here also they have provided few case laws cit and noida idbi and this one and unfortunately no case laws has been provided in cloud a google gemini also no provided so in this case sajib and abc is giving more appropriate answers okay so uh, this is only two things i'm going to test and if you want to test more you can log in and you can make your own test and if you want to have any questions uh, you can also make it in the comment sections and please remember that we have already created a whatsapp group uh, for technical related aspects related to ai and uh, python and uh, automation of accounting everything so in case if you have any queries about uh, excel related works or anything you can post in to my whatsapp group so that uh, everyone all the community members also will learn about uh, the such new things okay so now let us discuss about um, um in ai conversion uh, there is a new 
you have also included english correction column where uh, the primarily this tool is helpful for you to recorrect and with high vocabulary language okay let's say we need to complete the project before the deadline let us see that how uh, ai you has given the information we must finalize the project ahead of established deadline see this, this one is given uh, with the uh, with more with the uh, high language high vocabulary language um so let's discuss that uh, um so normally at least let me know uh, if you have any questions okay um can you inform should any queries arise okay see the, if, you, if you're saying that if, instead of you're using this word to this this word means let us think about our client will think oh this is using very uh, vocabulary language it totally is depends on our professional level <laughs> okay and the final one is the company is uh, planning to expand its operations the company is strategizing to broaden its operation scope <laughs> so you can if you want you can just copy you can you can, you can enter a number of sentences no issue for you okay so like that it, this is a normal content a content a gst expert or tax consultant ai by c is the best ai tool for finance and compliance queries it delivers the most accurate and updated and structured answers for indian income tax laws unlike generic ai models that lack depth in financial regulations uh so now you know which ai to trust for gst and tax queries and uh, uh, try ai by ca today and experience for the best ai for chartered accountants and finance professionals subscribe for more ai plus ca tech content like share if you found this useful comment below which ai you prefer and why see you in the next video thank you